Hey guys, welcome back to another Tea Time with Mon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the tea that I got this time. I bought it when I went grocery shopping for my healthy foods. And this is chamomile, honey, and vanilla. Oh, it smells so good when you're brewing the tea. Mmm, it smells so good. Like the smell of vanilla. Like my entire kitchen smells like vanilla right now. And the brand is, is called Twinnings of London. I know you guys see the letters backwards, so I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, I love it. And I love the box. It's so pretty. It has daisies. Daisies are some of my favorite flowers. See that? It has so much light coming through the kitchen. But anyway, and it's naturally caffeine-free. So I'm I'm loving it. It smells so good, and it tastes really good too. Now, uh, since you guys know that I'm trying to cut uh, sugars as well as carbs and stuff like that, I <coughs> I didn't use sugar. I bought the little packets of stevia, and it's uh, it's an alternative. It's a sweetener, but um, it's really good because you know you don't have to use um, sugar on it and. This tastes so good. Like, it sweetens the tea pretty good. I also bought it for my coffees because I love to make coffee. But I was like, okay, so I'm trying to steer clear of sugar. So what am I going to use for my coffee, you know? So Because I know that you can use honey as a substitute for sugar, like when you make teas and stuff like that. But I was like, what am I going to use when I want to make coffee? So I looked into it, and stevia is a really good alternative to sugar, so mm, it smells really good, you guys. Mm. Mm. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, you guys. So what I wanted to talk to you today about is I want to talk about mistakes because this is something that us as um, human beings we don't really, I think sometimes we are not accountable for our own mistakes, you know. One of the things I used to do a lot was hold on to the mistakes that I made. And I think that from personal experience, I could now sit down and analyze things. And if I could give you any advice, it would be to be still take time to reflect and think on why you made the mistakes that you made because the truth is that we all make mistakes nobody is perfect but it's impossible to learn from the mistakes if you do not allow yourself to own it if you find yourself at a point where you're constantly defending it or running from it, and if you realize that you're constantly looking to shift blame, then it's impossible to learn anything from your mistakes. Because if you think about it, our mistakes are there to teach us. So that way we know to do it better next time. So if you look at life in small pieces or small scenarios, whatever mistakes you made in the past are there to teach you for the next chapter of this journey called life. Think about it that way. If you never are motionless enough to truly own your mistakes and really get right with yourself you know like why in the world did I go with that decision is there a way I could have done it differently what would the results look like if I had done this instead of that was it necessary for me to say that is it possible that I could have done things differently? Whatever the circumstance is, if you don't take the time to do that, 
you are making these errors in vain. Literally, those mistakes are there to teach you. Sometimes we are so defensive and so angry that we never allow ourselves to learn from the mistakes that we make in life. And it's impossible to grow if you don't learn. So as human beings, sometimes we spend years just stuck. And when we have no accountability and ownership, then there could be no growth. So then you're stuck and you feel miserable. And many times we tend to be ungrateful and not appreciate the things that we have because we're too busy going after other things that will never make us happy. Bottom line is this. You will make mistakes. We all do. It's impossible to avoid making them. But the most wonderful thing about those mistakes is that they are there to get you back onto the right path where I'm sure in your heart you know you are meant to be. Allow yourself to grow and learn from those errors that you're making. And you know what? Actually, put those mistakes, those errors, to work for you. And I know it's not easy, but stay focused. Just take the time to think about this message. We as human beings spend too much time running away from our mistakes when they are there to teach us a lesson so that we can grow and move on. They are there to assemble us for the next part of our lives so that we don't continue to make the same mistakes, get stuck in the same situations, choose the wrong people to associate with, whatever it is. But you cannot be afraid to own it, even the things that you are ashamed of. All right, you guys, this message was short and sweet, but I hope you guys learned something from it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you got to enjoy some tea along with me. Till the next time, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye-bye.